Hey guys, what's up? I'm Aurélien from France, a fucking 40 years old farmer, and I'll show you my 51 Ford F1. It is a full custom frame of restoration, it is bagged, disc brakes, four corners, triangulated four links, with a custom back half, and a Mustang 2 front. It has a 383 small block stroker with a built turbo 400 transmission. The paint is a patina. Two colors and stress, three coats of clear. Frame is powder coated, completely boxed with a custom rear section. I put a set of Detroit Steels, 20 inch. 11 inch on the rear, 8 on the front. I show you the engine. So the engine is a 383 stroker with a Lunati Ford crankshaft, Scatforge road, with Ecoforge pistons. The camshaft is from Lunati, Lunati hydraulic rollers and lifters, and dart cylinder head. We have uh, Sanderson headers, Flowmaster exhaust, and uh, electric cutout. The differential is a Ford 9 inch with big bearings, 350 posi and a mother 31 spine axles. Suspensions are Mustang 2 front with rack and pinion. 2 inch drop spindles, rear section triangulated and foldings, B shine shocks, airbags with 2 wire compressor, 5 gallon tank, and a little Larry controller. We have the fuel tank, wire, and uh, air tank. Custom rear end, custom rear section, sorry. It has a full custom interior, full leather. It's a cool track.
1953 Ford F100. History on this truck was the bodywork and the paint and the Frenching was done back in the early 80s by a car club out of Dundalk, Maryland. I've added 20 by 9 Detroit steel wheels, custom handmade tonneau cover, widening the rear fenders 2 inches, my custom ta uh, license plate. Suspension is Air Ride Dominator bags, 2500s all around on a custom handmade triangulated four link rear suspension with just the normal bags on the front. The drive line and front suspension is out of a 1974 Chevy Camaro. So it's got your standard Chevy 350. <clears throat> Interior was also finished by me. Normal carpet, Grant wood wood grain um, steering wheel. I did it. Steering column. Pair of uh, nicely used 1969 Chevy Chevelle bucket seats custom made seat frame covers <clears throat> when I got the truck it didn't have a bumper I added the bumper recess four inches be closer to the body Like I said, the flame work and all the body work and the Frenching of the 59 Caddy taillights were done back in the early 80s. There's my 74 Chevy 350 with a dedicated engine air compressor. My Pearl high top symbol for an air cleaner cover. Just a standard no extra f features Chevy 350 like I said custom handmade aluminum tonneau cover on electric actuators old school valve setup with one air zenith, the other one's a Vire. I did have two air zeniths, but one burn up. Truck has an awesome uh, C notch, but you can't see it. So I got a tonneau cover, a bed cover on it. Custom made bed. Truck also sports a handmade custom visor. Keep the sun out of my eyes.